Mr. Mark. Get ready. Start. <laughs> Getting really tired. Yeah, no, I do. It sucks. It's raining. I don't like the rain. Yeah. yeah pretty wet. Yeah. yeah. My legs hurt. Oh. Do you hear music? It's really weird. Yeah. Oops. What's that? What? What is, is that? Is that a? Is that food? Is that food? I'm so it's hungry. So Wait, we might not be able to eat it. Why not? Diabetes. Wow! So disgusting. I'm sorry. Ariel, you have done majestically. All that I have commanded, you have completed. You have done marvelously as a harpy. They are afraid of your red-headed, beastly form. I see Antonio believes his son lost to the lifeless sea, but yet he has to discover the beauty of creation that his heart has found. And so with this, I please thee, and hope you have a marvelous life. For Ariel, sweet Ariel, you have done my bidding perfectly. Question time! What are your thoughts about what happened? Well, like, to begin with, I was really, really tired because, like, I'm so used to being, like, pulled around in a chariot by, like, white fluffy horses. <laughs> well, I don't know, I was just walking down the woods with Allie and, uh, Sebastian. My back really hurt. I don't know why, I don't remember, something happened. At first, all I, I just wanted to kill Ali. And this weird, like, Sebastian guy was, like, standing over me while I slept, and that was kind of creepy. No, I needed that power. I also lost my cane. Make me <laughs> So, it was already hard to walk. But then we found some food, but, like, I was super sketched out, alright? Because it was just random, like, McDonald's in the middle of the woods. But then, like, this delicious food appeared. I don't know, it was, like, so fancy. This like McDonald's just appeared out of boat, just nowhere, and like I thought personally it was pretty disgusting. But, but some soulless demon just came out of nowhere, and he just smashed our food. I was so hungry. It was okay because this gingerbread man came out of nowhere and just just ran it over. And then there's like a weird guy like driving a, a tractor, I don't know what it was, just like came out of nowhere and just like drove through it. How do you know he was soulless? Oh, he had red hair. Um, luckily we moved out of the way fast enough for us not to get hit, but we moved back in position um, and we had him circle around us, so we were okay. We saw some like weird things come out of the sky and like I like didn't know what was going on, so like I had to like attack it to make sure it didn't like mess up my hair because I got it done recently. We were a little spooked. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. He was screaming all over the place. He was just nearly peed my pants. It was scary. What were your reasons for your actions? Well, this guy Prospero, he uh, he found me on a tree, right? And uh, he made me uh, do all these nasty things. But I, I just personally wanted my freedom, and so. Uh, yeah. Did you put? How did, how did you get the Mountain Dew in McDonald's? Well, first of all, I got into my uh, utility vehicle and I drove to McDonald's in Wawa and picked up some food. First. McDonald's was an interesting touch. You know, I personally would have gone with five guys, but you know, that's just me. For uh, $20. So, so no magic was no involved? No magic. No magic. Alright. What would you think about the situation that happened with uh, Ariel? Oh no. What is this that, about, Thomas? That was a problem. So do you think Ariel did a good job? 
Yeah, Ariel did a fine job, I believe. You know, they were scared out of their minds and justice will be done and I will have my revenge. Well, I needed to exact my revenge on the people who crossed me and left all of my worldly possessions behind and made me move to this island. So, I decided that um, Ariel would become a harpy and you know these are all a bunch of weary travelers so what do they need more than anything else a fine feast so you know we conjure up this feast although again would have gone with five guys um, or maybe in and out burger and yeah Ariel just scared them out of their minds I think it was a good good job so do you think you're gonna set uh, Ariel free yeah, I think Ariel's gonna get free. Woo! Eventually. How you feeling? Ow. <laughs> now a word from our sponsors. So, dude, are you tired of those failed attempts at alien contact? Well, not anymore with our new product, Dank Memes. Now, you're probably wondering how they work. Well, dank memes admit high-frequency alamouse, which aliens love. With our new product, contacting the aliens will be easy as ever, and you'll be partying with them in no time. But wait, did you see that? 